Let's take a new exercise in Autodesk Inventor. This is exercise number 33, Material Steel AS, AI SI1020, the same exercise we did with SOLIDWORKS, now it, with Autodesk Inventor. All dimensions are in millimeter, ISO standard thread applied. Okay, this is top view, this is side view. So we are going to start with side view. See total length, you will observe here 184. Now width 82, but you will see the side structure 17. Now from here to here, we have to find out how much you will observe here 42. Now total height 62. Okay. We need to expand 82, 184. Okay. Then you will see this circular body radius 18 and distance 42 plus 18. It's 60 millimeter and uh, at center there is a M18 thread. This thread dimensions you will see uh, thread depth 24, the whole depth 27 and this uh, part need to extrude up to 39 millimeter. Center distance 46. Let's do this. New. Now here go to metric, choose standard mm.ipt create a new part. Now this is the, our portfolio, uh, our uh, interface. Now drop down origin, you will see all the planes and axis. So here select start. Now which one is suitable for us? So I am going to select this plane, YZ. Activate line tool. Now start with origin point, see 0, 0 click left mouse and drag and even though you can apply dimensions but we will apply later let's create a structure now see right click choose ok and exit from a sketch now let's apply dimension so here select dimension i am going to apply the outer one this is 184 Okay, this length 17. Okay, let's zoom in, zoom out. This depth 42. Fine. Now let me select this height 62. You will observe here. See, finish sketch home. And here choose extrude feature now. Now here first option input. First you have to choose profile. So one profile already selected. Okay. Now sketch from. Sketch also selected. Now here behavior direction. Left, right. So I am going to choose symmetric. Material going to flow both sides equally. See. Here you can apply 82. First output body name, you can name anything, that's not a big deal. Say OK. Now I'm going to select this face. Choose here this plus sign, create a sketch. Activate line tool. And I'm going to start somewhere here. Okay, go to this end point. Now go to, go back to the point, press left mouse and drag and see the line is converted into R. Click here and move up to here. Press escape key to out. Now let me smart dimension. This radius 18. Now distance from here to here. Uh, this is going to 42 plus 18, 60. Now look, it seems fully defined a sketch. Finish a sketch. Extrude. Now here, first option profile selected, sketch selected. Now direction also, positive direction. Now here choose dimension, 39. Now output here in Boolean, we have to choose positive, uh, join. Say okay. 
Now before going to mirror, I am going to apply here hole. So choose hole. Now first you have to choose position. So keep cursor over and you will see this uh, face become green. You can place anywhere hole. See the hole placed, but you have to choose one circular edge. This if I'm going to select this one, see the hole going to locate at center of this circle. Okay. Even though you can apply dimensions and anything, but that's it. First hole type, you have to choose the third one, tabbed hole. This is going to be a tabbed hole. Seat, no. This is simple. Now isometric profile I am going to keep. Hole depth, let's say 18 size. M18 only, only given. So I am going to choose M18 into 1. 1 is the pitch. Left route direction. Now this is the class of thread. So let's keep. Now this is the important behavior. Now either there are many options distance. If you select distance, you have to apply the distance all everything. The second one option is through all. If you choose through all, it gives you throughout hole, but no, I am going to choose up to distance. Now in distance here, direction going downward. So this is perfect. Drill point. Keep this like this angle. Now here first option, let's say thread depth 24 and the hole depth 27. Fine. Keep OK. See. Now there is one more option. Let's mirror this. So here we have option. See here mirror. Now you have to choose plane. Now see this is here first we have to choose mirror individual feature feature let me select feature so for feature I am going to select this extruded hole these two feature I am going to selected select now let's come down select mirror plane and from here I am going to select YZ see you will see the preview say ok and look now let's come here and let's make this portion 35 outer body and this is going to expand 52 millimeter this is the center line so equally we will consider and internal it uh, 16 and 10 and this is going to through all you will see here and distance 80 plus 60 140 total 140 okay so 30 16 10 so I am going to select the mid plane, let's say YZ sketch circle here I am going to draw C circle. Now here let me select here C slice graphics. Now it looks perfect line. connect from here to here press escape key to out dimension okay before going to dimension let me choose trim click and delete press escape key to out now apply dimension now let me show this is radius uh, this radius going to be like uh, 35 16 10 fine and distance from here to outside 140 look our drawing seems fully defined you will see fully constrained finish sketch extruded boss base extrude first option select profile now here we have more than one close profile so keep cursor which one you want so I am going to select this one symmetric 52 join plus okay now again we have to choose so keep cursor and you will see this is going to green so I am going to select this one and uh, here I am going to select this option through all symmetric through all keep join 41 let me select 82 and here choose equally see 
okay now i want to delete this portion a sketch now let me select line press escape key now what's the problem okay here choose constraint coincident this point and this point now choose collinear select this one this one okay this is fully constrained finish sketch extrude now here before going come down in boolean choose cut profile selected sketch selected now direction you will see this is going inside so you don't need to choose now here distance total distance 82 so that's fine you can put or simply apply through all no matter in boolean choose cut say okay now but inside there is one more cutout 27 you will see here dotted line and you will see 36 only now radius r6 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 and internal cutout okay let's finish this one first yz plane circle choose line okay let me choose graphic slice line press escape key to out trim entity delete this press escape key again choose line connect okay dimension 27 collinear select this line and this line now look it seems fully defined sketch finish sketch extrude now here choose in boolean output cut profile just keep cursor or here you you can select this one upper one now let me select right we need this also so select this portion also this one we need to cut here choose our direction symmetric cut and distance 36 see okay now let's press left shift and rotate see now let me select this color uh, something different okay fill it now first here add constant radius age okay this option we have to choose now age select here let me select six and i'm going to select one two three four say okay now there is inside cutout you will see here 66 and uh, the inside depth 36 but from here 6 here 6 50 millimeter the height okay and internal radius r4 then there is a one hole 20 diameter 18 and 43 just select this face sketch corner rectangle okay 
स्मार्ट डायमेंशन सिक्सटी सिक्स इट शुड बी सेंटर सो एटी टू माइनस सिक्सटी सिक्स एटी टू माइनस सिक्सटी सिक्स डिवाइड बाई टू एट मिलीमीटर फ्रॉम वन साइड ना दिस हाइट फिफ्टी सिक्स मिलीमीटर फ्रॉम वन साइड Now look, it seems fully defined this sketch. Finish this sketch, extrude. Now in output select here cut profile selected, direction also going inside fine. Now depth thirty six only. Okay. Fillet here select four millimeter. The first option choose add constant radius edge set, and here select. now one option rotate the model second option say okay select this face sketch activate circle this is going to be 20 enter smart dimension distance from bottom it's 43 and distance from outer edge 18 finish sketch extrude feature and here in output choose cut and i am going to select here uh through all to next just to rotate okay next is going to be something Okay, let me choose. Say okay. Okay, fine. Next means up to this internal wall. Okay, that's fine. This is our model. Material you can select from here. Steel. Okay. color we selected fine don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works thanks for watching